Hello, this is Dr. Philip Lum of Patient-Centered Neurology. I have put together this short video to help you understand EMG nerve conduction study testing so that you can undergo testing if needed as comfortably as possible. Before we discuss the test itself, I'd like to point out that the test has many different names. The correct one is electromyography nerve conduction studies, but you will hear the test referred to variously as EMG nerve conduction studies, EMG NCS, EMG NCV, and sometimes just EMG. EMG nerve conduction study testing is a set of related tests performed on people by neurologists and physical medicine and rehabilitation specialists. The studies reveal the workings of the peripheral nervous system and the locations and character of any problems if there are any. EMG nerve conduction studies consists of two separate parts. Typically, the first part performed is the nerve conduction study, even though it's listed second in the name of the test. This technique involves stimulating a nerve and recording how long the stimulus takes to move the electricity down the nerve to a recording site. The second test performed is electromyography. The physician will place a needle into one of the muscles and then record the electrical activity produced by that muscle both at rest and with movement. The most common reasons to be referred for EMG nerve conduction study testing are signs or symptoms of peripheral nervous system malfunction. Numbness or weakness in the arms, hands, legs, or feet are the most common reasons for the test to be ordered. EMG nerve conduction studies should only be performed by neurologists and physical medicine and rehabilitation physicians. It is a complex, dynamic study requiring detailed attention, knowledge, and complete understanding of the peripheral nervous system. Many laboratories, including ours, have a technician perform the nerve conduction velocity portion of the study. The EMG portion is almost always performed by the physician. The study is always to be done with the physician present at the laboratory and never done remotely. At patient-centered neurology, the nerve conduction study portion of the test is done by Chris Bush, a certified technician who performs thousands of tests per year and has done so for decades. The electromyography portion of the test is performed by me, and this is a picture of me with somewhat more hair than I actually have now. Many of my patients ask whether the test is uncomfortable. Certainly electromyography and nerve conduction studies can be uncomfortable. For most patients, this discomfort is considered relatively minor, about as much discomfort as you might have with an ear piercing or perhaps the placement of an IV. A number of factors play into the degree of discomfort patients may suffer during the test. Certainly anxiety and concern about the test itself promotes the degree of discomfort appreciated by the patient. At patient-centered neurology, years of experience have taught us the best way to employ a variety of techniques to minimize the discomfort of the test. A small amount of preparation on your part will make this test much more easy to perform and much more efficient. Wear loose fitting clothing that reveals the area to be studied easily. If you need to wear sweatpants or other loose fitting clothing over the shorts or short sleeve shirts, go ahead and do so. This way we won't need to have you change into a gown. Don't wear skin lotion on the arms or legs on the day of the study. Skin lotion interferes with the performance of the nerve conduction studies. Some patients would like to take pain medication before the test. Certainly, it will not interfere with the electromyography nerve conduction study. However, I don't find that it generally reduces the amount of discomfort appreciated during the test. Also, Many patients ask if they need to stop their blood thinners. This is completely unnecessary and may of course be unsafe. 
please do let us know if you are taking blood thinners so that we can prepare you in the best way possible. I hope you benefited from watching this short video on the performance of EMG nerve conduction studies. I'm Dr. Philip Blum of Patient-Centered Neurology.